Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2! When we last left off, we had a civil war in England breaking out. And hopefully, if our, if our Chancellor is good enough at it, I'm about to say Spymaster. Our Spymaster's not doing anything involving that. What is our Spymaster doing, actually? Nothing at all. Well, it's a good thing I mentioned you, because you're off to scheme. We are currently in a situation where we don't have any particular wars to fight. I have learned a few things, though, uh, in general about the game. Mainly, someone mentioned about the technology. Some of the main things we need to learn are things like... Ret... the uh, global military organization. Well, military organization basically helps the glo global supply limits and morales of armies, and it also increases the size of our retinues. We don't have that much to go before we can gain that. We're going to save up for that. And we're basically going to hope that we get a claim here. Yes, we do have weak claims that we can press, like the King of Sweden. Uh, we can get my wife to claim Sweden. Sweden might be decent if there currently wasn't that going on. We also have uh, this guy. We can claim things for my niece, for instance. No. And also, we can claim for our half-sister an entire kingdom, which, considering the size of it, no. I can I do know that you can, um, it basically, there is another way to expand, whereupon you get people who have claims to territories, invite them into your lands, give them territory, and then press the claims for them. But in general, I'm not the biggest fan of doing it, as it means people sort of gain territory, but you're not gaining it directly, and the person gains power more than- Whoa, this is actually getting quite- to, to be quite a big um, rebellion, actually. Whoa! Look at that! Wars all over the place! Also, my cousin is dead. Oh well! Get more cousins. We do have a claim. We're, we're on that uh, territory down there, which we're not going to press at all. Ah! No arbitrary traits, please. Not particularly keen on those. How is my son doing? He's had a son! And that son is not doing too badly. Ah, the King of France. You wish to fight... Are you fighting... The... Are you actually attacking in a war, or are you defending in a war? You are attacking in a French-English excommunication war. Refusing will give me lose me twenty five prestige. Hmm. The only thing I'm concerned about is that England is still pretty. It's not as powerful as it used to be. But we are. We're trying to take advantage of the war at the moment, and they're currently also defending against a war to lower crown authority. I'll say no, but only because I'm waiting to have my own war. S sorry. If I si I don't even have enough money to send you. But, it's okay. Like, I don't want to have England at war with me yet. I want to hope that I'm going to gain some territory here. Or perhaps even here. You're in hiding. Hiding pretty much means that they're much harder to be assassinated or killed, but their traits can go a bit... Unusual. You lose prestige because people basically start forgetting who you are. Four. Oh, I thought that was four children there for a moment. One child needs educating. Who shall we pick? You're actually really good at it. Go educate. Okay. The only problem is we do have two sons, which does mean we are going to need this castle. We should actually start upgrading it. If we're going to hold on to this castle, we might as well make it good and hand it over to our second son, who will be a pretender to the throne when I finally take um, charge. How is Aquitaine doing now? Aquitaine is doing a bit better. A bit better. It's had things worse. I don't even want to begin to guess what's happening over here. It's just getting silly. Whoa, a 10% chance I will just get ill. Or I could, uh... I'm just being paranoid. The food is fine. See? I'm fine! And look, the war's ended already. 
And you're fighting against... Are you independent? Really? Hey, change that. We could steal this. <laughs> Maybe we'll be lucky. See, we didn't want to enter that war. Because now France is fighting this war. And... Pretty much all alone. Oh! Oh, oh, hang on. Another war has just broken out. Is it going to be a big war? Or is it a tiny war? You've got to sort of be careful. Wars can be big and nasty. Or they can be tiny, fleeting, insignificant, and very, very, very short. And I don't want it to be very, very, very short. But it's every possibility it could be. What's going on in the world? Well, I can say that the Byzantine Empire is still growing. It's almost completely absorbed Croatia there. It's just gone. And it's spreading even further out into here. I mean, this is territory of Syria here. There is an empire over there. The empire of uh, the Arabian Empire and the Persian Empire. There are empires over here too. Uh, Tartaria, Russia, the Wendish Empire. That part actually doesn't belong to any empire, but it kind of makes sense because it's uh, where the Papacy is. We are not going to be able to found this empire at all. It's just not going to happen. How is your war doing, by the way? It's uh, really not doing very well. We should probably just ignore that and uh, move on. How is your little war going. It's going. Not fast. I know that I should probably be pressing claims against, uh, well, that's my cousin. And also of my dynasty. Unfortunately, that's about to end. And that's also not going to end. Oh, no, no, no. The That is going to end, but that's... He does have... Hmm. That could work, actually. <laughs> Ah, you've set up the anti-pope, have you? Hmm. Okay, fair enough. I'm not going to mess around with uh, things like popes and anti-popes in this uh, playthrough because it gets really messy. Whoa! Back to being Denmark, I see. So, uh, Denmark now has a powerful, powerful claim. You are both the King of Denmark and the King of England. A son was born. Prince of the Holy Roman Empire. Are you... Not bad. Not bad. Not done too badly there. So now England is Denmark. Again. Aye. That war is... Oh. Charitable trait we always like. That war is not going to end well for you, is it? No. So let's instead focus your energies here again. Really shouldn't have took you away from it. Oh, and Denmark is there now too. So you own there as well. A bit of Denmark in Spain. Fair enough. What else have we got going on? Not a lot. You're attacking... Ooh, Castile have an excommunication war going on, do you? That's not bad. So here we go. We're just uh, sat here waiting. There's that castle. We can probably build some stuff in it pretty soon. So Denmark now rule England as well. You're defending against a war that's probably not going too well for you anyway. Yeah, the King of Denmark kind of got that one tied up. How many allies? Do you? you have so many allies. You have three kings. And now we really can't declare war on you. Because the King of Denmark is also the King of England. And we really don't want to mess with the King of England now. My daughter and my niece. Sorry, niece, but I uh, need to make room to educate my son. So uh, my wife will educate you, and I will educate my son. Who better than me? King Stephen II. Whose heir? Prince Morgan II. And whose heir? Also called Stefan. I approve of this. 
Castle walls have been built. Good, let's start building more defences. Ooh. Hmm. Yes. How are the factions doing? They are weak and feeble. Which suits me perfectly. <laughs> well, this war's probably not going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, and a marriage proposal. Um. Um. Sure. I'm not quite sure what you gain there. You have a fair few claims, actually. Oops, I accidentally clicked you by mistake. Well, that war's going terribly for you. Terribly sorry. Oop, and my marshal just dropped dead. Blech. It's alright, my son suits the uh, purpose just fine. Okay. So Castillo in trouble, was also a king of Leon. Aragon is reduced to a single province. It's a shame we can't steal that province back for her, but what can you do? Unfortunately, the uh, Knights Templar have literally been pushed away for that due to Croatia. So although the Croatia king is there, pretty much Croatia is going to be sort of planted over to Andalusia. And hello, leader of the Byzantine revolt. Well, you don't have any eyes. And you're also a eunuch. And you're also all the way over there. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, I'm going to say you're in trouble. Um... Just throwing that out there, you're in trouble. Sorry. Okay. Oh, and that war's over too. I'm just not gaining any territory anywhere, am I? Oh dear. Where can I? I could claim territory here. The only problem is, is that. Hmm. I could claim that. I could claim that, but he's currently at war. Hmm. You're currently... I could claim there. It's part of Leon, which is actually... No, it's actually part of the Kingdom of Leon, which actually encompasses that, but currently encompasses that. Hmm. Hmm. I could claim it. It's small and little bitty, though. That's the problem. I'm just getting bits of territory. There's no good targets anymore because everybody's stole chunks of everyone else. And this person's allied to pretty much half the universe. I mean, I could go over to Pisa, but... Pisa actually have a lot of military power at their hold. They have 6,000 people. Not to mention four allies, one of which is one of my kin's... Uh, people, so... Oh, there's nothing going on that can really help me. <sighs> Could claim that? Uh, it's just so messy. This person has 20 allies. They're allied with everyone. How much do you actually like me? You actually like me a lot. You're a title claimant, but you're not going for it. I'm far more powerful than you. You could actually go for it, and I'd probably just lose it. Which is kind of a problem. <laughs> hmm. I got this paused for too long there. I should unpause it. There's nothing really for me to do. Here, anyway. <laughs> you will ruin everything! Gain piety. That, what a terrible event that was. You are independent and only own one county. How's about, chaps? We conquer a random island all the way over by what is now France. Do you know what? Why not? Go claim that. How many troops do you have access to? Ooh, content trait. Like that. There. We can go conquer this. Excellent. Are you at war with anyone? Probably. It's going to end really badly for you. 
but if I'm lucky, we might actually gain something out of it. We probably won't, though. Pomerania. Yeah, Pomerania is currently tiny. The Kingdom of Pomerania is a bit bigger, but it's been pretty much absorbed by the Holy Roman Empire. So we aren't seeing that expanding anytime soon. The kid may show spirit, but I'm going to encourage him to be patient. Because if I'm going to have somebody who is, uh, oh, you're fighting in that war, are you? I could always offer to help. Although you're not going to be my kin anymore, so... Uh, I'll let you fight it. It looks like you pretty much got it under control. Pretty much as a period where I'm not going to gain very much right now. There's not a lot of things for me to target, and not a lot of weak people nearby. Where do heathens come from? They're just like us. Well, honesty, the best policy. Ah, you are now my vassal, and whoa, that's a high opinion of me. Ah, oh, you're content, that's why. I do like the content trait. The content trait is really good. It just feels weird bordering Denmark. Oh! Another one! Oh, ooh! Hello, dangerous faction. You wish to try and lower crown authority in Ireland. Again. Good sirs, here is a pile of money. Will you please stop your scheming? The daily hand people some money so that they don't decide to rebel against me. Hopefully these factions will go away. Yep, see? And before you know it, one of the people has just decided he's got better things to do. And in fact, you're going to decide that you have better things to do as well. If we're going to deal with a faction, we might as well crush it utterly. And it has now, in fact, been completely destroyed. <laughs> My nephew, to claim Galicia. No, I, I don't think so, somehow. In theory, I could just separate the kingdom out, make one of my relations the king of, um... The king of Ireland? Well, not you, but somebody else. There are merits to it. Oh, what happened to Aquitaine? What happened to you? I think Aquitaine is done. Which is a shame. It is quite a shame. Oh! Whoa! What are you fighting? You're attacking... And you're defending... N no No, you're on your own there. You are on your own against the Holy Roman Empire. 50 cultural points for 100 gold? Yes, please. But you are on your own against the em the Holy Roman Empire. I'm sorry, but the Holy Roman Empire is scary. And I am not dealing with it. No. No way. Also, let's improve keeps. It means we can build things. Like, for instance, castle walls. We can improve them. Oh my. Aha! You have a claim on... that place all the way over there all by itself. We could actually go for that. Why not? I'm really low on money, that's probably why. Ouch. Oh dear. When we come back, folks, uh, we are colossally in debt. Does this lower people's opinion of me because I'm colossally in debt? Uh, no, which is quite fortunate. So, I'll catch you later, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. I really probably should have thought of the ramifications of that, shouldn't I? Oh well.